and gentlemen, I have a news report. Obama is disappearing Benghazi survivors and changing their names. We're going to be getting to that clip coming up here in just a few minutes. Uh, thank you for joining us. We're now into the second hour. Uh, I've told my writers uh, not to brag, but just to show the, the, the viewers and readers and listeners that we don't make stuff up. One week after Benghazi, I had Wayne Madsen on. And about two weeks after, I had uh, Colonel Schaefer on. And just a host of guests and our own analysis from people that have been to Libya, in the case of Madsen, while it was happening, saying that it was an arms deal gone bad. And there was basically an, a, a stand down order for more than six hours made so everyone could be killed. And Colonel Schaefer basically sounded like he agreed with my statement, uh, elaborating on what he'd said, and then he got a bunch of heat over it, uh, and so he backed off a bit. Uh, but I can see he's saying his interpretation was that he didn't know Obama ordered the hit, just that there had been a stand down and then they were coming to kill him. And we know the people that came to kill them were the head of Benghazi security. I mean, that's, that's admitted too. So you've got all the pieces here. And now you read the London Telegraph, the Associated Press, you name today, CIA running arms smuggling team in Benghazi when consulate was attacked. Uh, 35 CIA operatives are being told to keep quiet, but it's been leaked to the uh, London Telegraph that the television network said that a CIA team was working in an annex. We told you that. It was a warehouse complex near the consulate on a project to supply missiles. What have I been telling you for since this happened? When did, the, when did Benghazi happen exactly? Yeah, so it's not so it's not like a year yet. I say like a year or whatever. It's, it, it hadn't been a year yet. So it seems like a million years. It's like time's going fast, but it's also going slow. We've been talking about Benghazi so long. So I've been telling you for nine months or ten months that this was going on, and now it's all over Fox News as we speak. It's all over everywhere. So, how many times have you heard this here, and heard this first, and heard this over, and 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 over again? You've heard this, that they were supplying missiles from Libyan armories to Syrian rebels and wanted it covered up. And they sent the security force... Look, look, here's what we know. They ordered a stand down for more than six hours. They lied and said there was no surveillance. There was two Predator drones and a C-130. They lied and said they couldn't get them help for many hours. The truth was they had people 30 minutes away. The truth is they had large contingencies of commandos, CIA, and others. Thousands of U.S. personnel in the city of Benghazi. Hundreds of them combat ready. And they were ordered to stand down. The security services knew where everyone was going and were tracking their cell phones and even stopped vehicles that were fleeing. D do people forget this? And we know that there were missiles there, heat-seeking missiles and other high-tech weapons in a complex behind the safe house. We know that the uh, one of the top ministers, the foreign, foreign minister of Turkey, was there at the meeting hours before it happens. So they're at a safe house by a bunch of warehouses. The Turkish ambassador shows up. He's with the U.S. ambassador to uh, Libya. Ambassador Chris Stevens. Here comes hundreds of the security service with inside knowledge of how the State Department, CIA, Navy SEAL security is working. They attack the facility. Two Navy SEALs from down the road refuse to follow stand-down orders, run down and attack them from behind. So it goes from an hour operation to a six plus hour operation, giving everybody time and CENTCOM to sit there on the aircraft carriers and at the NATO bases on the mainland in Italy to watch everyone die. Reportedly, they watched more than five hours of them dying. Because those drones can loiter for more than 12 hours. They're just sitting there, bzzz, flying in circles, watching it all in high def. And that's why this is such a scandal, because there were, there were situation rooms at the Pentagon, situation rooms in NATO, situation rooms everywhere, watching this go on for hour after hour after hour after hour after hour with just dozens and dozens and dozens. I mean, some, some say hundreds of the combatants being killed, getting madder and madder as they're run in trying to kill them. Only six security people inside fighting them off. 
And so they get mad and bring in anti-aircraft guns and point them down at the ground and start shooting to kill everybody inside. And, and they were reportedly cursing Obama and stuff while they did it because they'd been sent in to kill him. And then the, the, it wasn't a piece of cake like they thought. And that's what happened. And just like they killed the Navy SEALs that did the fake bin Laden raid. Now their families are coming out saying they killed him. I told you that over a year ago, folks, directly from Navy SEAL. Active duty, whole nine yards, known him since he was in high school. My dad's known him since he was in high school. I've known him since he was in college. But the whole point is, is that I know a Navy SEAL who's friends with people in SEAL Team 6, his best friends in SEAL Team 6, and they all say there was a bomb on that helicopter. And they said, this isn't a mission. We're not being given a mission. Just get on the helicopter and don't ask questions. They don't even give them a good story. So they all get on the helicopter, overloaded, fly out to save uh, Rangers, made up story. It blows up, they crash. There's people waiting right where it crashes to shoot them with 50 caliber rifles. And now all that's been classified. The families want to know they're sold. It's classified. But the media admits it was all a lie. There was no Al Qaeda. There weren't insurgents. And they're so like, what happened? They killed your family. That's what happened. And now the families are telling you over a year after I told you, when did Benghazi happen? It happened like 10 months ago. When did the SEAL helicopter blow up a few months after the fake Bin Laden raid? Because they were talking. And it's also come out mainstream news that no one saw Bin Laden thrown in the water. There was no ceremony. And they've court-martialed like 36 last time I checked of people that were speaking up. It's, it's like a record number of court-martials on a ship kicking them out because they were all talking. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this whole deal is cut and dry. So do we know Obama ordered it to be a hit? We know their security forces run by the CIA go over and attack a facility, and a mile away are a bunch of CIA, Navy SEALs, Delta Force types, by the hundreds, and none of them are allowed to go over and defend them. They stand down while watching everybody get killed, and now the Pentagon gets it. They're going, wait, we kill Navy SEALs. We kill CIA commandos. We kill them. We kill the ambassador just to cover something up so Al-Qaeda can be given missiles. None of us are safe. Boy, you just won the big prize. You put two and two together. I mean, there, there is no debate that elements of the federal government ordered them to be killed and ordered to stand down. Do we know exactly who gave the order? I, I don't know. But Obama has been lying about it from the start. So I told you the SEAL families and the SEALs know they killed those SEALs. That's now Fox News, Michael Savage finally pushed it out and got it broke. We've been talking to the families. When I talked to SEALs and their families, they were scared. They said, look, we'll all be killed if we talk. They've told the SEALs, we're not just going to kill you. We're going to kill your family. Do you understand that? And by the way, I've had the former Joint Chiefs of Staff chairman on and other admirals all saying they were there when LBJ said, I want that ship going to the bottom on the USS Liberty. And then I've interviewed the, 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 the officers of the USS Liberty. It's on record. It's archived. There's over 30 plus of the interviews or more, probably 50, I don't know, where they were on that ship and they were told, well, you survived, you're getting the Congressional Medal of Honor, but if you ever talk, you won't just be court-martialed, you're going to be killed. This is the highest national security. And they've called the Navy SEALs in and said, there's a lot of talk. You talk about this, you're dead, and your families are dead. Well, the families are speaking out. They're like, go ahead and kill us then. We're going to speak out. And they may start killing their families. I mean, you know, they'll have minivans full of, you know, Navy SEALs, families, and blow them up. Maybe maybe they can burn them at the stake publicly. And liberals are all get around, dance around in circles around it. I mean, I don't know, man. That's how dishonorable this is. That's how sick this is. That's how out of control all of this is. And it's only going to get worse and worse and worse because we interviewed a Hitler youth a few years ago, and uh, we're going to put it in the film. He died last year, about a year after we interviewed him. And he said it was the godlessness. Germany became godless and said, oh, there is no God. And as soon as they said that and there was no standards, well, why not do everything? Why not? And, and, and you learn in business and life, a lot of the public's really screwed up now. More and more, it's spreading everywhere. Businesses talk about this, especially in the Western decadent world. Now, there's offshoring for a lot of reasons, but one of the big ones is 
the average Westerner has become so lazy and so mentally ill and so weird that they could have a chance to make $100,000 by doing a little bit of hard work. They'd rather imagine they're going to cheat you and do great, even though it destroys them. And, and everybody's marveling at this. You're seeing it because they're godless. And, and, we, and I've learned that people that say they're an atheist, people that say they're proud on average and that laugh at you because you believe in God, they are the people that are, are just scum. I mean, I, 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 the, the, there is no way to describe it. They have no pillars. They have no mooring. They, have, they, aren't, they aren't human. They think you're dumb and they think they know everything. And it's like a disease of like morons. And I know there's some atheists who might be nice people out there and, and folks who are agnostic say, hey, I don't know and I don't like organized religion. Well, I certainly don't like it either. But I just keep noticing that the people that are, and, and you know, like talking to Von Campy, uh, the Hitler youth, he said it was, it was, it was the atheist. That it was the, it was, and he said they weren't really atheists, they were devils. And that's really what it is. They just, people say, well, why are they doing this? Because they like to do it. The journey is the destination. And so I told you so, it was about missiles in the warehouse from our sources. And a year plus later, we're confirmed right yet again. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Then I'll get into a foster care system revealed as a conduit to the giant pedophile network that runs the planet. And uh, that's now coming out in um, the Daily Mirror, you name it. So we're going to be breaking that down. Yeah, they act like monsters. They're building a monstrous system. They are monsters. It's a legion of doom, a, a group of scum who have different uh, vices, but hurting innocence is... Uh, seems to be what binds them all together. The tie that binds. And this is our journey into evil right now. Oh, yeah, your TV watches you, CNN reports. Oh, yeah, we're listening to everything you do. Oh, yeah, uh, we're uh, putting poison in your vaccines. Yeah, uh, we're going to take your kids away from you. Yeah, we, uh, we gave missiles to Al-Qaeda. Yeah, yeah, but we're... Oh, by the way, it's in the news today that contracts are being given to al-qaeda in afghanistan and syria and the headline is the pentagon can't help it but they can sure take your kid away from you and make them cry and teach them that men in uniforms can touch them because that's their religion and they can do it in front of you and you'll put up with it because you want to be enslaved and you are going to be don't you worry your little head for just one little second Pentagon has awarded contracts to Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan. Steve Watson, he links through to a Bloomberg article. What did Karzai say a few months ago? He said, the West runs Al-Qaeda, and they're trying to kill me, and they want to keep a war going so they can control the opium. I don't just believe Karzai. I happen to know that's true. But if you tell a cop you don't want him to search your car to look for heroin, they'll break your jaw. In fact, there's a lawsuit out in California where a Ukrainian legal immigrant was driving a truck and didn't understand the officer when he was saying sign the digital ticket. So uh, they drug him out and bashed his head in the ground and almost killed him. And I think that's fine. I think the man should have been executed. And the police officer should have bathed in his blood as a sacrament to God government. Truck driver nearly beaten to death. There's the headline. Of course, I'm being sarcastic about how the government's God. But you're going to find out it's God, folks. Uh, let's 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 move right along now uh, from Al Qaeda being awarded contracts. Small town police are tooling up with elite military hardware from armored vehicles to machine guns and helicopters. Uh, that's being reported online between police and troops is now a blur. And even uh, the establishment publications like Wall Street Journal say we're in deep trouble. Oh, you figured that out? Think you figured that out yet? <laughs> Don't worry, those carrying it out are going to be destroyed as well by themselves. Uh, here's another one. A threat to U.S. embassies appears, Al-Qaeda-linked lawmaker says. And, and, you know, 
I, I, I would guess uh, this is just going to be a new political distraction from Benghazi, and they probably want to kill a few people uh, that are at embassies they haven't been able to kill yet that are witnesses, so Al-Qaeda will take care of that. They always take care of everything. Want to end the American Republic and enslave everybody? We'll just say Al-Qaeda did something. You know, Why do they got to search your house without a warrant? Because well, you, you were shopping, you know, doesn't matter. You're not even a Muslim. You're Italian-Americans. You're in Florida. You're shopping for pressure cookers. You're going to get a SWAT team raid. Save a baby deer. Legally and lawfully. You're going to get a SWAT team raid. They're going to kill it in front of you. That happened in Wisconsin. Uh, we aired it last hour. It's just all part of it. The government wants to be insane. Uh, in Seattle, they've banned the word brown bag. It's racist. And the word citizen. I'm not kidding. That's up on Infowars.com right now. So uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's just going to get worse. Uh, meanwhile... Um, I wanted to get to this article, but we'll do it after we talk to our next guest here. But, but let me just show you a little stack of these bad boys right now. Uh, here's one. DARPA to genetically engineer humans by adding a 47th chromosome. Time Magazine reports. And the truth is they're already messing with our DNA and admit that with the GMO foods. And, and out of the mutations, they, they're, they're te it'll kill most of us. They want to find out how they get the, the Uber mention or the Superman uh, out of that. Uh, and uh, continuing here, FBI taps hacker tactics to spy on suspects. Uh-huh, plant stuff on your computer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then here's CNN. Uh, your TV might be watching you. And it goes on to say, with cameras, microphones, and definitely with the digital info, it's compiling everything about you and selling the data. I told you that 15 years ago. I don't know, 1997 is when I met with the first Time Warner engineer. By the way, never heard from him again after that happened. I just got death threats. Uh, and I told you all about it then. I, I guess breaking news and being right is bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's in Fox News that BPA is giving people cancer, sterilizing them, and making people gay. But instead of getting an apology from everybody, I'll be attacked more. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show.